Hey guys, welcome. Thanks for taking a few minutes. I would love to show you why inviting is so crucial when it comes to your doTERRA business. Whether it's the holidays, whether it's not the holidays, whether it's just an everyday week, inviting is so important. And there is a certain way how you need to do that. And there's a way that you can do it that actually will increase your return. So I want you to pull out some pen and paper, whatever it is. I want to give you a few things that actually help you with this on a daily basis. So I want to give you three keys to inviting when it comes to your doTERRA business. Again, whether that's during the holidays, whether that's just during everyday week, it doesn't matter when, but inviting is crucial and it's key. So number one in this whole process, the first key is listen loudly. You need to be an active listener. You've got two ears and one mouth. That means you need to be listening twice as much as you are speaking. If you are talking more, you are losing and you're not gonna be able to do an invite the way you know you want to or would need to to get the response that you're looking for. It's just not gonna happen. So understand that active listening really involves a couple things. One is good eye contact. I remember when I was younger, I would love to look at people in the eyes because what I would do is, is and I didn't realize I was doing it until thinking about it later on in life, I was telling that person, I care about what you're talking about. I care about what you're saying. And that speaks volumes for people. When you're talking to people, you want to make sure you have good eye contact. You're looking them in the eye and doing that. The second part of listening loudly is smile. I, when you smile, you are telling that person, I not only care about what you're saying, I care about you. It doesn't matter. The world might be falling apart, but a smile can totally change somebody and change their outlook of what they think about you. When you're thinking about your doTERRA business, you want to engage people. You want to make sure that you are listening loudly. The fact that you make eye contact, you're smiling at somebody. It could be a stranger. It could be a family member. It could be someone else. It doesn't matter. In the, it could be someone in an elevator. When you do that, you're saying, what do you have to say? I'm listening. I'm engaged. I want to connect. That's a huge piece when it comes to uh, inviting and moving forward in the conversation to where you want to go. And this is all progression. So that's key number one, listen loudly. I promise you it will speak so much louder by nonverbal than it will if you're actually saying stuff. Okay, key number two, make sure that you linger longer. Number one, key number one was listen loudly. Key number two is linger longer. You might be at a party or you might be at a meeting or you might be uh, at an event and you want to meet somebody, you want to connect with somebody, you want to invite somebody because you're like, there's something in that person that I want uh, to connect with them on. Well, lingering longer, what it tells that person is I am sticking around because I want to connect with you. It's about connection. It's about relationships. And if you don't stick around and you kind of go, well, he didn't come talk to me or she didn't come talk to me and you get all huffy and puffy, well, that's why you're getting the results you're getting. Do you want to actually have an invite and progress further than you have been? You have got to linger a little bit longer. Again, not like a stalker type, but just sticking around and really being engaging. So what's important is this positions you to connect number one, but it also positions you when you have the opportunity to talk to somebody, you uh, ask good questions. This is your time now. You've got, you've got an audience. You've got eye connection. You've listened loudly. You're now connecting with it because you lingered a little longer. You ask good questions at this moment. And that is finding out about them. What's, and listen, that conversation needs to be about them. It's not about you. It's not about you in this moment. You might be thinking in your heart like, oh, I've got to, I got to ask all these different things because I want to invite them for my business or I want to invite them to get healthy or whatever that is. If that's your mentality, that's what's going to come across and it's not going to last very long and you're not going to be able to get the invite that you want. Okay. So again, holidays or no holidays, it doesn't matter. You need to make sure that you ask good questions, linger a little longer and make sure you're connecting with them because that's the way it positions you. That's number two. Okay, key number three, this is lead with love. This is one of my favorites. If you don't encompass everything with love, it's going to come through that you are that person, that salesperson. You're wanting something. It's, it's, that, um, it, it's that whole idea that I am just about myself and I'm going to kind of throw you a bone. 
when you encompass everything that you're doing with true sincere love, love will cover, if you made a mistake earlier on in this progression and these keys of you didn't really listen loudly enough or maybe you didn't linger uh, in, in, a, in a good way or whatever, you messed up, loving someone sincerely and intentionally will cover a lot of mistakes. It's, there was a Proverbs uh, that talks about this and, and it says, love covers a multitude of mess ups, okay? That's what this is. So love is about the other person. It's not about you. And I've already mentioned that before in the other key. But again, when you love somebody, it is about the other person and about what they're wanting and about where they're wanting to go and about um, what they're looking for in life. And then that gives you an opportunity to now be positioned to be heard. When you love unselfishly, you have given yourself the right to be heard. You now have the right to be heard because you've loved unselfishly. You're not looking to get anything back. You want to invite them into a conversation. You want to invite them into something else that's going on because you took the time to care about them. If they don't want that, they're going to make it very clear really fast that they do not want that. But if you love well and lead well, it will position you to get the results that you're wanting to get. I never saw these keys done more loudly than when I was a young boy. As a boy, I was handicapped. I had a hip disease and I was in the hospital for a very long time. And because I was a boy, my dad was in the military. I was actually at a military hospital and I was actually in the ward, it was a very big ward with a lot of other kids that had cancer. I was in the cancer ward. I didn't have cancer, praise God, but I was in that ward with all these other kids that were dealing with cancer. And I remember being there and I was there and I noticed that there was this Marine that would come in every, every so often and he would start to see these other kids. They would, he would listen to these other kids and, and, I would, and he'd make them laugh and he'd connect with these other kids and he'd come in quite often. And I was hoping one day that he'd notice me and then that, that day happened where he noticed me. He saw that I was pretty much the only one that was uh, pretty bedridden. There was a couple of kids that were still that were bedridden because of the cancer they were dealing with, but I was bedridden the whole time. I couldn't get out of my bed because of the hip disease that I had and I was dealing with. So he'd come over and we just laughed. He wanted to hear, he asked me questions. The first day I met him, he just asked me question after question. And then he realized that I was in a lot of pain as well too, because of the way my setup and what, what, what I was going through. And so he began to bring board games over to me and he began to do all these different things. So I would just be invited into a friendship that I never thought would ever happen with this Marine. And to be honest, he was a younger Marine. He was in his early twenties and come to find out he came into this place because on the floor below, he was actually getting chemo treatment and cancer treatment himself because he was dealing with cancer. And so I got to know him over the months and he kept visiting me. And, and uh, when I finally got out of the hospital, uh, my parents would take me to go and visit him. And I just saw his health get gradually worse. And uh, I got a letter from him uh, a couple days after he had passed away. And I realized that whole moment was an invitation for a brief moment to be a best friend with somebody and learn what it means to take those moments, to listen well, to make eye contact, to laugh, to connect, to, to do life with somebody. That's what makes inviting so important, but also so powerful if you do it right. And that's what's going to grow your doTERRA business. That's what's going to grow any business that you do. This is so important. Invite correctly. Take these three keys. Listen loudly. Really take an opportunity to make sure that you're being heard. Good eye contact. You are lingering around a little bit longer and you're leading with love. So this week, stick around a little longer. Listen really well. And love someone that might not be as lovable. Or just love somebody because you can. Have an awesome day.